as our Chief Innovation Officer, what is your take on generative AI beyond all the hype? And how do you see it shaping our future? Well, I think there are two important things about generative AI. The first one is the speed of adoption. Never ever in history have we seen a technology which has been so quick to invade the planet to some extent. It's touching almost all industries and many, many, many jobs. So this is really a technology for everybody. Now that said, it's not new. As well, this technology is not perfect. It's making a lot of progress very, very quick, but it's not perfect. So I think it's very important to understand that there is still a lot of new things to come and it's up to us to make sure that this technology is evolving in the right way with the right way to use it in an ethical manner. The impact of generative AI on education is huge. Since at Capgemini, we, we are trying to do a lot to bridge the gap on digital divide. How do you see the impact of a generative uh, AI going forward on that field? I think a lot needs to play out. We recently conducted a research on the gaps in skills in secondary schools, digital skills primarily, and this time dwell with the hype around AI and Gen AI. So in our report, The Future Ready Education, we actually polled teachers and students on the topic. And what was really interesting is across rural and urban schools, across the board, teachers felt that generative AI has a huge potential to make a difference and be a useful tool for our students. With that said, there are risks and there are perceived risks. There is perceived lack of understanding of how to make this work. And so almost an equal number of teachers and schools are banning the use of AI in schools. You mentioned ethics. How do you see this whole field of you know, ethics and the, the development of guardrails around Gen AI play out? I think there are several domains in which we need to work. The first one, as you mentioned, it is ethics. Making sure we work on privacy, avoiding misuse, the bias that we can put into uh, the technology. That's an important domain. I really think that going forward, Generative AI will have to navigate between a necessary code of conduct on our behalf, on our side, if I may say so, and obviously regulation on the other side. There's still some areas that need to be addressed to get this right, but it's exciting to see the potential of Gen AI, what it holds in terms of bridging the digital divide through self-paced, personalized learning. And it's great to see that policymakers, academia, and companies like ourselves are coming together to realize the potential of Gen AI to bridge the digital divide.